Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Credential, aka Hactual, and today we are going to get our realms or our local world that we play on as a solo player and put that in towards our server and vice versa. This method is only for the Bedrock Edition, and some people will say it's the Pocket Edition. It's both the same stuff, same engine. Um, but this is for the Bedrock Edition only. This will not work with Java. Now, if there's a way to convert Bedrock to Java or Java to Bedrock, that's, that's a separate video, but I'm just letting you know this is for Bedrock. So now we're in our Windows 10 um, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, we have Realms set up. Now, Realms will let you play on the Xbox Live servers with your friends. Now, it does come at a premium, and you're limited to only at two packages, two players or two friends or 10 friends, which is not enough. So that's why I've created a server. Um, if you wanna know how to set up a Bedrock Edition server, I'll put links in the description down below because I made videos on that. But um, I just don't wanna play with 10 players. I want to play with more than that. So uh, how do we do this? Well, first things first, you wanna go towards your realm if you have an existing one. If not, if you'll have a local world, I'll show you how to extract that. But let's start off with the realm here first. So we're gonna to go towards our pencil icon. Then we're gonna to scroll towards the backups. Then we're gonna download the latest backup that you have. Then this will convert it in towards a solo player world. So now we have our normal world that we can play a solo player on. Uh, let's just hop in here real quick so you can see um, that um, where where we first left off at. Uh, okay, cool. Everything's still here. Everything's awesome. Make sure you always make backups of the world just in case if you mess up. Um, so uh, right there's a hotel, whatever. Save and quit. What we need to do now is back this up towards our Windows uh, computer. So we wanna save that as a file. So hit the worlds, then this pencil icon, then you scroll down and it'll say export world. So let's go ahead and export it. It's gonna save in towards our documents folder. Let's go ahead and uh, export that over there. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and drag the file on down here. Right here is our worlds. So, um, what we want to do is rename it. So right click rename. So in, instead of .mc world, we want to do .zip. So it will allow us to open up in our um, archive so we can able to see the archive content and right here. So now within our Bedrock Edition server, you can go towards the worlds and you can open up the Bedrock level and you can delete the content that's inside the, the server and drag and drop the world here. And now you're able to play it on a actual window, um, a Bedrock Edition server. Um, now, as for people who have a server and want to back this up and play it as a, uh, put it on their realms, if you ever wanted to play on realms again, which I don't understand why, but that's you, or if you want to play it on a solo player because you just got rid of your server, it's really simple to do. All you got to do is make sure that you go back, you get the folder name, so mine says bedrock level, yours says whatever, you're going to right click. And you're gonna send it to uh where is it? Um give access, no. Send wow, okay, I'm blind. Send it to compressed zip folder. Then we don't want it as a dot zip, we want it as a dot mc world. So hit yes. Now all you gotta do is double click on this, and it's gonna start loading the world. We will automatically import it. Now, if it says failed, you might want to give it a few tries. Which is kind of janky because it's either it works or it doesn't. But if it doesn't work, what we want to do is go towards our profile. 
then our cog settings icon then what we want to go towards to is our storage then make sure we uh, delete our um, our stuff here so check mark everything this is basically the cache we're clearing up the cache and cookies but in uh, Minecraft and uh, let's give it another shot Or I think I messed up. We don't have to go to the folder. We just have to Send this we have to make sure that we're inside of the folder where this contents at then we send it towards a compressed folder and uh, Backup Server then dot MC world That's what the problem was. Okay, so we have to make sure that we're in the content of the DB level dot dat level dot dat old and level name dot txt. Then make sure you archive there. So it can't be the previous folder and do that. So that's kind of weird, but uh, now we know. So now we can go towards our server uh, that we have backed up into a normal single player world. And ta da! Uh, this is my world. It's pretty empty because it's new. Um, I want to go ahead and just back out of it. Um, I want to now load our uh, realms or our world that we have backed up and put it in towards um, the our server. So let's just go ahead and just go ahead and delete all of the content that's here and drag and drop into the bedrock level. And we're going to start up a ser our server run as administrator and uh, it's our local host. So now we're actually in our server. So you see what I did there? It's just you just remove some files and add some files and rename it as a uh, from a .mc world to a .zip and vice versa. So I hope that this video was helpful. That you can back up your realms or your local world into the server and vice versa. Pretty simple stuff. Now, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you dislike it, well, that sucks. Give me a like anyways. Make sure that you donate through Patreon or PayPal if you find this really helpful because uh, I make free content for y'all. Um, yeah, just like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys have a dope-ass day. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Check out Private Internet Access today. It's going to act as your digital content because when you're sticking your things in places where they don't belong, you're going to be fucking yourself over. Now, when you visit no-no sites, like when you're looking at stuff that you're not supposed to, or you're downloading things illegally, there is no logs that is kept by PIA. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court is like, hey, uh, we need you to log all your users and we need to see if they're up to no good. And PIA is like, yo, government, we don't have logs. That's part of our policy, bro. So that gives you a extra confidence that you can download things illegally. Not I'm saying you should, but I'm just saying they don't keep logs, man. Now, if you can't afford for $10, give or take a, a month, then don't fucking click skip ad on my videos because I need that moolah. Buy PIA today. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.